What's this thing about Amanda? It's going to be all right, you know. I don't know that. Mike's a very determined man, and he wants her. Didn't Brian say that he was going to do everything possible to see if that doesn't happen? Yes, but... But what? I could still lose her. Will you stop worrying? You know, I've been thinking. About what? About sculpting again. Good. It's a good idea. You know what I want to do first? No, what? You. What for? Because you're beautiful. One condition. What? You let me do some photography. We've got already got a picture of me. Maybe I can't get enough. <laughs> and now. The continuing story of another world. Good morning, Jamie. I made some coffee. You better drink it fast, though. Kid will be home any minute now. Jamie, I, I really should get ready. We should talk. There's really nothing to talk about. But last night... Last night, you desperately needed someone, and I was here. Oh, Jamie, please don't misunderstand. But I, I love Rick, and today we're going to be married. Why? I told you, I, I love him, and... And what? I'm going to have his baby. I didn't know. I know you didn't. Well, I guess I better go. I'm doing. Getting married on an intern salary with a baby on the way. I must be out of my mind. Oh, baby. I'm going to be a father. got a wedding to go to. Get with it. Come in. Yeah. What are you doing here? Hi, Rick. I wanted to see you. How'd you track me down? It wasn't hard. I checked the intern's quarters, and uh, when we're up there, there weren't too many places we could be. Well, you found me. Now what? How are you? I'm fine. I'm just a little nervous here. Yeah. I think everybody gets nervous when they get married. Yeah. I sense that uh, there's some last-minute advice coming here. I only have good things to say to you, Rick. Really? Really. There's no, no, no warnings here. No warnings, honestly. I know that I, uh, I told you I was worried about your marrying Marianne, but it's time to forget all about that. 
Today's a happy day for you. And I want you to be happy. This is really my sister talking to me. Bob isn't that bad. No, not that bad. Just your usual mother hand act. Well, I hope you know it's because... I know, I know, I know. it's because you care about me. Do you believe that? Yeah. I know this marriage is right. It feels right. That is exactly what I want for you. Be happy, brother. I love you. <laughs> I wish I could stay here all day. But we've got to get ready for the wedding. I've been thinking about that. What? I don't think I'm going to go. Why not? I just think it'd be better if I don't. Why? Well, for one thing, it'll be awkward. Well, I want you to go. Well, maybe I won't go. No, you go. They're your friends and Max. I just don't think there's uh, any reason to make everybody uncomfortable. No, well, I don't want you to be uncomfortable. I'm not. I'm not. It's just that... Um, I get the feeling that Max's presence is everywhere. You're right, I have the same feeling. I've been thinking that it might be best for us if we leave the city. And there's no reason that the gallery has to be here. I know you've got a lot of ties here. And it's going to be difficult for you to break them. But I don't think it's going to be the case that we're going to ever be together until we get away from here. Just think about it. Okay. Back, these are the files of the operation of the ledger. I've also written a report stating my activities since I took over. I gave it to Liz to type. It should be ready in a little while. Thank you very much, Jamie. I'm sorry this had to happen. I know how hard it is for you. It's okay. I just wish there was something I could say to make it easier for you. You can. When it comes right down to it, I'm the one who messed up, so I do understand why. It had to turn out this way. I know it's small consolation, but I... I do wish there had been some kind of alternative. Yeah. Matt. Yes. Something is really bothering me, and, uh... Well, I don't know whether I should bring it up or not. Jamie, you know I've always been willing to discuss anything you wanted to. Please sit down. <clears throat> While I was waiting for you to come home from the board meeting last night, Louise brought Amanda downstairs to say goodnight. Yes. Amanda wanted to see Mom very much. I didn't know what to tell her since I didn't know why you had her and Mom didn't. And it's very hard to believe that Mom would just let you take Amanda. Are you asking me if I took Amanda from your mother? Yes, I am. Jamie, Amanda was hurt the other day. I know. I saw the bandage. Rachel was with Blake. The babysitters weren't even watching Amanda when the accident occurred. That still doesn't explain why you have Amanda. I simply thought it best when Amanda was released from the hospital... If she went home with me, where she could be cared for by someone she knew rather than by strangers. I see. Did Mom agree to this? No, but she knew how I felt. So then you took Amanda from the hospital without Mom knowing it? Yes. I thought it better that Amanda come back home to her own room with her father that loves her rather than be with your mother and Blake. Mom loves her too, you know. Apparently not enough to put her above her affair with Blake. Mac, Mom needs Amanda very much right now. And I know that Amanda needs her mother. Be that as it may, Jamie, 
I will not have the only child I have living with my wife and her lover. Mac, I think what you've done is wrong. Frankly, Jamie, in this situation, it doesn't matter what you think. Mac, it's wrong. But I haven't asked for your approval. I think I'd better make arrangements to stay somewhere else. I'll be moving out tonight. Jamie. Thank you for letting me uh, stay at your house for the last few nights. <laughs> oh, will you stop? You're giving me a headache. All right? Now just calm down, will you? And we got plenty of time. Tell me what you're looking for. The marriage license. <laughs> I've lost the marriage license. No, 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 no. I have a marriage license. It's, it's in my jacket there. Oh, oh. I, I gave it to... I don't remember giving it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Just calm down. Everything's all right. Try to be cool. All right. All right. It's like a basket. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst you are, but I, you know, totally expected due to the situation. I'd be a little nervous if, if you were trying to attack like Mr. Coolman. Oh, I don't know why I didn't know this. Me and my big man. Well, what are you talking about? It's just that Marianne was content to have, you know, a quiet wedding, just the justice of the peace, and uh, but no, I had to have the whole shebang. I didn't listen. Well, you don't want to dep deprive your friends of uh, seeing you tie the knot, do you? Well, and plus I saw all the loot that, that you and Marianne wrapped in there. Huh? I think your friends at least deserve some champagne, don't you? Yeah, I suppose so. All right. Well, let's go. We gotta get going. But you said we have plenty of time. Yeah, we do. But that was before. We did. Come on. Let's go, buddy. No, no. I don't think I can go through with it. What are you getting cold feet, huh? No. I'm all right. I can do it. Okay. All right? All right. All right. Come on, let's go. Can't wait to, to give you off to Marion anyhow. You're making me a nervous wreck. Hi, Mom. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, honey. Turn around. You're beautiful. How do you feel? Great. No butterfly? <laughs> no. The answer is dry as a bone. Oh, I can't believe it. It's your wedding day in there. So, God, don't you know you're supposed to be nervous? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they know what I'm doing is right. Well, sweetie, it's such an important day for you. I hope you'll be happy. I will be, Mom. Listen, we better get going. I'll have to talk to Rick. Before the ceremony? Well, yeah, it's it's really nothing important. Just something I have to ask him. Shall we go? Okay. No. <laughs> Mac, you wanted to see me? Oh, yes. I wanted to thank you again and tell you how glad I am we had that talk at the restaurant last night. Oh, so am I. You know, I can't tell you how much better I feel because of it. Good, I'm glad to hear it. I've been giving it a lot of thought. Jamie's going through a extreme personal readjustment. He feels he's a failure. He feels that he's lost my respect and nothing could be further from the truth. What he desperately needs right now is someone who understands him, someone who cares for him. Someone who will help him get back on his feet. And the more I think about it, Cecile, the more convinced I become that no one but you can. You are the person to do it. This is very important to you, isn't it, Matt? It's extremely important to me. No matter what happens between his mother and me, I'll never change the way I feel about him. You know I think of him as my own son and the heir to Corey Publishing. 
I can't tell you how much I want to help him, Mac. You know, the other night, I didn't think there was anything that I could do. But now you've made me see that I can. Jamie means more to me than anything in the world. And I've got to make him see that that's true. That's exactly what he needs now, Cecile. Someone who loves him completely, no matter what's happened in the past. But there's something that concerns me. What? How am I going to make Jamie... Well, what, what can, I, can I do to prove to him that I really do love him, that I'll help him in any way that I can? Simply go to him. Tell him exactly what you told me. If he knows that he has your love, it'll make it so much easier for him to face all the problems he has to deal with. All right. That's what I'll do. Mac, I'm going to make him understand that he'll always have my love and support. Thank you very much, Cecile. I knew I could depend on you. Will you be going to the wedding? Yes, I will. Good. Oh, Mac, I can hardly wait to see Jamie again. Where's the ring? What ring? What ring? You know what ring I'm talking about. What are you talking about? I don't know. It's not Come on, on, you guys. I'm nervous enough as it is. I just... got it. Wait. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here they are. See, I'm the best man. I'm supposed to have the rings, and these are the rings, sir. That just shows that I'm the best man. Okay. You know, I hope you don't have to get married more than once. I don't think you can't make it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look, look, look. Uh, Will, do you know where Kit and Marianne are? They are over there in the tent making some last-minute adjustments. I'll be alone. Oh, hey, look, I have right. got to run down to the church to make a phone call. We'll be back in a minute. We'll do that. Yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> ah, there you are. Yeah. Today's the big day, huh? Yep. <laughs> Well, uh, are you holding up? Oh, I'm holding up. I'm holding up. I'm nervous, but I'm holding up. I would say that that's, that's normal. Russ, I need your help. All right, Miss Cumming, Cumming. See you later. I'm late. I was, uh... Oh, that's all right. Yeah. So, how are you doing? Okay. You sure? Yeah, really. Uh, let's drop it. All right, no, no, I'm just interested, you know. Yeah, I appreciate that. Talk about something. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, what? <laughs> there is something <laughs> you can tell me. What's, what's that? Well, uh, uh besides, uh, seating people, right? Uh, what else am I supposed to do? You're the married man, and you're asking me what you're supposed to do? Mary. Yeah. I've, yeah, I've never been through something like this before. <laughs> oh, that's right, you didn't have a big wedding. No, just a justice of peace. Or... Oh, well, all right, you, well, you do what I said. You do what I said, and then you, uh, you come to the reception, and you, you oh, the reception line, and, uh, and you just make sure that I stay in one piece with this whole thing. Okay. Let's do it. Um, Rick, uh, is Cecile coming? Uh, do you know? Hi. Oh, uh, Miriam wants to see you. What for? Oh, uh, I don't know. She didn't tell me. But I, I'm, the, I'm not supposed to see her before oh, the. Come on, it's okay. Go on. You should. Yeah. All right. Jamie, do you know where Jerry is? Yeah, he was uh, heading toward the church when I came up. Yeah, Larry, it's Jerry. Have you heard anything from Blaine? Well, have you seen her since? Would you do me a favor? Could you call her and find out how she is? No, I don't think that I had better call. Besides, I doubt if she'd uh, even talk to me. Larry, I just need to know that she's all right. Yeah, thanks, Larry.
No, look, I think it'd be easier if I call you back. I'm at Rick and Mary Ann's wedding. <laughs> yeah, I'll call you back as soon as I can. Yeah, all right. Hey, uh, thanks, Larry. I can I guess I'm, oh boy, I guess I'm the luckiest guy in the world right now. Rick, I have to talk to you before we go through with this. Get told me. Yeah. What you want to talk about? Us. How we feel about each other. What do you mean? I've been doing a lot of thinking and uh Rick, I have to be honest with you. What about? Well, I don't know if I'm marrying you because I love you or because there's going to be a baby. Does it really matter? What? Diane, I love you very much. I know that. I want you to be my wife. I want you to be the mother of my child. Right now, I have enough love for the both of us. I'm really not sure this is such a great way to start a marriage. You, you want to back out? I just want you to know how I feel. I want to give you the chance to decide whether or not you want to go through with it, knowing how I feel. If you decide you just want to forget it... Forget I... it? Marianne, I love you more than I have ever loved anyone in my entire life. I don't, I don't care if you're not totally committed to me right now. That, that'll grow in time. I, I, look, I know that you care for me. That's really what's all that's, that's important right now. In time, you'll come to love me as much as I love you. Um, Rick, I, I do care for you. I just had to let you know how I feel. And it settled, right? All right? You're good. Okay. Hello, Jamie. Nice to see you. Hi. You're looking good. Thank you. I've missed you. You were the one that asked me to leave. I know. I made a terrible mistake. <sighs> well, we'll talk about it later. Can we please? It's important to you. Yes. We'll talk about it later. Mom? Where's uh he's not coming. Well, I can't say I'm not glad. Can I talk to you for a minute? Certainly. Jerry, uh, we'll be right back, okay? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Well, how are you? I could be better. Would you like uh something to drink? No, thank you. No, I'll have it now. Uh, could I have a scotch and rock, please? Mom, I know about Amanda. Yes, I figured you would. I heard that you and Cecile are having problems and that you're staying with Mac. I was staying with Mac. After I found out how he took Amanda, I couldn't stay there anymore. What are you going to do? I don't know. And right now, I don't much care.
Mac? Mac, hi. It's good to see you. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to thank you again for our little talk this morning. Well, uh, I hope it helped. I know it did. I know now that I can get Jamie and I back together again. I was hoping you maybe already had when he didn't come home last night. But uh, I guess he went someplace else. What? Where? Oh, well, I guess uh, we're starting. Excuse me. I'm very pleased that God has given us such a beautiful day to celebrate the wonderful occasion of the marriage of Eric Halloway to Marianne Randolph. It's a joyous sign that he smiles on this union. Now Eric and Marianne would like to share their marriage vows with you, their family and friends. Today we begin our journey together. A journey that will take us through the rest of our lives. We know our destination, the direction our lives should take. But we won't be afraid to explore the back roads. Together we'll seek the unexpected. I'll be there for you for the joyous times. We must always remember to share the joy of our lives. The wonder of our love. There'll be times of sorrow, too. I'll be there to reassure you, to ease your doubts. I'll hold and comfort you in the dark of night. With God's love, may children share in our lives. May we show them the joy and happiness we now share. With mutual respect, may our love continue to grow. I promise to be there for you always. And I'll strive never to stray from the path we've chosen together. I love you, Marianne. I love you, Rick. Let our marriage begin. Let our lives together begin. Eric, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Marianne, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. So how are you doing in that class? Okay. Just okay? Well, I'll be lucky if I can pull my grade up to a C. Up to a C? Does that mean you got a D now? Yeah, Danny, that's what it means. I gotta go. Hey, hey Lee. What? You busy after school today? I don't know. Why? I just thought that if you uh, didn't have anything to do, maybe you could come back here and... Uh... And what? We could have a little talk. About what? Just talk. You know, it's been a long time since we've seen each other. I don't know. I'll think about it.
Think you weren't coming home? Oh, I had some things I had to do at school. Oh. Hey, how's your test go? No, all right. Think you passed? I won't know until I get the test back. Well, how did it feel? You must have some idea how it went. It's starting all over again, Danny, isn't it? What do you mean? You're getting involved in my life all over again. Can't you see it? Look, I just asked you a question. I'm interested in how you're doing. What's wrong with that? I, I'm, not, I'm not giving you any hassles. Maybe not, Danny, no. But I can feel it starting all over again. The, 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 the endless questions, the interrogation. The, the interference, Danny. And I don't want it anymore. But what do you want? Honestly? Yeah, honestly. I guess I don't want for you to be here. I see. I'm sorry you feel that way, Lee. 
Are you going to be staying here in Bay City? Did you get that job? I don't know. They got a few more interviews to do before they make a decision. What do you think you're going to get in? It's a good chance I might. Then there's a possibility you could be staying here in Bay City then, right? Yeah, it's a very good possibility. You see, if I get it, I don't want to commute from Wisconsin. Yeah, all right, okay? It's okay then. But there's something we got to get straight. You and me, Denny, right from the start. Sure do. If you want to move here to Bay City, that's fine. That's all right. That's your decision. But you got to know. I don't want you deciding anything for me. I don't want you trying to, to run my life. I'm a big guy now. I can take care of myself. And if I need any help, I'll come get it. And I'll ask who I want it from. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. You've made that perfectly clear. Oh, wait, let's have a picture, Doctor. Oh, no.
Jamie, I love you. And I don't ever want us to part like this again. I'm sorry that I, I said those things. I really didn't mean them. I was just angry. I don't ever want you to leave. I think... I think I would just die if I ever lost you. Jamie... Join us each weekday at this time for the continuing story of Another World.